So you want to buy a Vans RV3. The RV3 was Vans aircraft founder Richard Van Grunsven's very first from scratch design that actually flew. And the RV3 is the plane that launched Vans aircraft. RV1 was simply plans to modify a Stitz Playboy. Richard, aka Van, sold a few, but none were actually completed by customers. The RV2 was a scratch built design of a wooden flying wing glider. I couldn't find a picture of it, but I assume it looks something like this. It was never completed and the RV2 never flew. After that, Van made the RV3. It was a from scratch design of everything he thought the RV1 could have been. It worked, and it was improvement on the RV1 in every category. The market agreed, and sales took off. As a result, Van's aircraft was formed. Incidentally, RV3 first flew in 1971, the same year that the Monette Sonari first flew. Its creator, John Monette, would go on to found Sonic's aircraft. I thought that was a neat coincidence. Anyways, the RV3 was a slam dunk. With it, Van set out to design a plane that was good at everything. Sporty, fast, comfortable long legs, and fun. And with a baggage compartment that would put a lot of two-seaters to shame. RV3 is the lightest RV, even lighter than the RV12 LSA. At 1,100 pounds maximum takeoff weight, it fits in the LSA weight category. However, it's the light sport category and not the light rocket ship category. LSAs aren't allowed to be able to fly faster than 120 knots straight and level. The RV3 will exceed 120 knots by the time it gets to the end of the runway. If the RV10 is the Chevy Suburban and the RV14 is a Camaro, then the RV3 is the the 3 is the only single seat kit that Vans ever sold. Not as many people are interested in a single seat airplane and the price reflects that. You can still buy an RV3 kit and build it, but demand is light and they don't produce the kits very often. Lead times are longer than the average bear. Of the 300 plus RV3s completed, most were built early on before Vans menu is so large. Over that time, many RV3s found their way into the top end of the horsepower range. 160 or more horsepower is not uncommon. That means a few things. First and foremost, a rip roaring good time. It also means a bit higher fuel burn and overhaul cost. Despite that, costs remain tame overall. The lower hull value offsets the experimental tailwheel insurance. Fuel burn at cruise is in the 7 and 8 gallon range. Fuel burn in the horse and around category can get up over 10. I call a lot of plane legends. The RV3 is a legend's legend. Sure, it launched the most successful line of kit planes ever. Yes, it was awarded the best aerodynamic detailing in 1972, the year it debuted at Oshkosh. That's actually true. But in addition to all that, Richard Van Grunsven, the most successful kit plane designer of all time, started out with a vision of the ultimate total performance personal aircraft, and that plane was the RV3. And every Vans plane since then has been a variation of it. That's Vans RV3. Thanks for watching. See you in the next.